telling me you're doing your best. I've heard it all before. He's still out there, that's my point. Right, well, thanks. Oh, hi. Hello, you two. Can you believe them? Who? The police. Oh, do you know, we thought we'd go to uh, Roy's for our breakfast, didn't we, kids, eh? Ah, oh, it's lovely. What did you have? All right, kids. Where are you going? To get a paper. David! To be honest, none of us were very hungry, so we just had tea and toast. And you know, Roy wouldn't accept anything. Can I go play on my computer? Yeah, of course you can. I do. Hey, Lily, do you know who I found when I was clearing up? No. I found your favourite dolly. And she's upstairs waiting for you. Will you, uh, will you take her up, though? Well, I need to go to the hospital to see my mum. Yeah, just do this first, please. Come on, Lil. Come on, then. Come back to Dolly. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to bring him back here. This is their home. Yeah, well, home or no home. David carries on like this, he'll do more harm than good. And I hope he's still not thinking of taking the law into his own hands. Well, that's something. Because Max having to see him about to lay into that lad. Oh, well, grief's a terrible thing. As we both know. Still. I know. I'll see you later. Glad you're here. Will you do me a favour? Will you just phone me a taxi? What are you doing? I need to go home. Home? Well, have the doctor said that you can? Well, no, because it's got nothing to do with them. No, Bethany, listen. I am leaving and that is that. But you can't. But I've seen the newspaper. I know everything that's happened to Kylie. I can't just stay here and do nothing. You're not doing nothing, though. You're getting better. Look, you, Mum, you cannot leave. Darling, David needs me. Well, what about me? What about Harry? We need you. You've got me. No, we don't. You're not well. Not yet. David has Gran. He has his mum. But what about me and Harry? What about us? Kylie's dead. You're not listening. Me and him, we're just kids. And we need our mum. But we need her to be well. Okay, we need you. You have to stay. They loved each other so much. I know. I saw the picture and read the details. I just... <sighs> David, his pain... It must be unbearable. He knows that you'd be at home if you could be. I owe them so much. Like they've always been there for me and you know, like help me get through stuff and the whole reason that I'm able to talk to you like a, a normal person that's because of David and Kylie and that's why I just I wanted to be there for him you can be when you're ready I just keep thinking about you all there and you're just dealing with this awful, like, awful thing. And I'm here and I'm thinking about me and I'm talking about me. And... That's what you have to do though, okay? You have, to, you have to get yourself well and then come back to us. Please, Mum. Can I put the telly on? 
David Max wants to know if you can put the telly on. Yeah, sure. Maybe you could play a game? Cards and something? Let's just turn it off a sec. I just want to speak to you. What when? Mum died. Yeah, when your mum was killed. Um, you see, the thing is... You caught that man that did it. Were you going to kill him for what he did? Did I want to kill him? Yeah, I did. Because I loved your mum very much. I didn't do it, Max. David, just please. They've arrested him. He'd be relieved. Well, arresting him's not going to bring her back, is it? Nothing's going to do that, sweetheart. But it's the best we can hope for. I know you're in pain. But right now, that poor little mite must be so confused. You're a good father. He needs you. They both do. Listen, um, I know I've been a bit all over the place at the minute. If you weren't here, what happened to me? Well, you haven't got to worry about that. I'm not going anywhere. You can't say that, because when Mum came back, she said she's never going to leave us again, but she did. Yeah, well, I promise. But what if you'd beaten up that man? And then they put you in prison. You'd have gone just like Mum. And you'd look after me. Right. OK, firstly, what happened with him was just because I wasn't thinking straight, yeah? Secondly, I'm not going anywhere. And thirdly, no matter what happens, you'll always have someone who looks after you, who loves you, all right? Whether it's me or Gail or Nick or anyone. But Gail doesn't love me like my Mum loved me. I know, mate. No one will love you like your mum loved you. I mean, she loved you so much. But Gail does love you, just like I love you. And I promise you that we're going to care for you, all right, and make sure that you're all right. Because it's just me, you, and Lily from now on, OK? Do you think I'll always remember my mum? Of course you will, mate. Come on, come here. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. I didn't know what to do. You know, with the flowers. They start to die, and it uh, seems wrong to throw them in the bin. I dropped a card in the break, but, uh, you yeah. know. Thanks. I'm sure David will appreciate it. I know it's not easy, David, love, but you've got to start making some decisions. Yeah, I know. Well, I don't suppose she ever said the sort of thing she'd go for. She was 28. I think a funeral was the last thing on her mind. Yeah. Well, she wasn't religious, was she? Why don't you go for one of those humanist ones, you know, where instead of hymns, you have songs and poems? Well, that sounds lovely. Please. Hello? Cheers, thanks. Bye. Charge Clinton. Oh, thank goodness for that. What a relief. Is it? He's got a roof over his head, food in his stomach. Yeah, but he hasn't got his freedom, do you? Yeah, well, he took Carly's life, Graham. Hardly much of a punishment, is it? I 
I mean, I was so worried what would happen if you ever bumped into him again. This is good news, David. That lad's gonna get what he deserves. Well, maybe not good news, but I thought maybe you could take some solace from it. All I can think about is how do I get through the next day? Or hour? Here. For them. I mean, that's, that's all here. I care about. Yeah. I know, love. Yeah, but he's off the streets now, my love. He's locked up. He can't hurt anybody else. I mean, surely that's something to hang on to. Doesn't make it hurt any less, does it? Won't bring their mum back. <sighs> Those kids have softened enough, David. You have to be strong for them. This is just the start. They've got the funeral to get through. Right, Why do nice people die? Well, we've spoke about this, haven't we? Everybody dies. That bad man who did it, why can't he die instead? When I think about Mum, it hurts my heart. Well, well, the more you love someone, the more it's going to hurt when they go away. You know, I feel the same. After the funeral, we'll start feeling sad. I'm not gonna lie to you, mate, no. No, you won't, I mean... It's gonna take some time yet. But, um... It, do you know when you fell over and you hurt your knee? And at first it hurt like mad, didn't it? But then, after a while, it just started getting better and better. And so it'll be like that. OK. But she'll be in our hearts forever. OK? I mean, we'll never stop thinking of her. Yeah, I was just listening to some of Kylie's songs, trying to make a playlist. How do you mean? For the funeral. That's when I get to say goodbye to my mum. Yeah, she loved this one, didn't she? Yeah, we dance around the house to it, me and her. You've been doing some colouring. Yeah. That's me, and that's Lily, and that's my mum floating up to heaven. Yeah, the kids wanted to put it in the coffin. It's late, David. He should be in bed. Yeah, no, I just wanted to keep him a bit longer with me. They'll lock him up for a long time. Yeah, me too. It's scary, isn't it? To think that someone so young can be that cynical about taking a life. I know. Ah, now, Gemma. I just want to say thank you. What for? Well, we're going to the police. It must have taken a lot of courage, that. I should have gone sooner. No, you did the right thing in the end, and that's what counts now. Why don't you come round to the salon around closing time? Because I'd like to treat you to a cut and blow. Do you really mean it? Yes, it's my way of saying thank you. That'd be brilliant. Ta. You're welcome. Back to our love. Did that really just happen? Yes, love, it did. And you deserve it. No, that's on me. David must be so pleased that they've caught him. Well, it's difficult to say, actually, Maria, because he says it won't bring Carly back. Oh, that poor lad. A widower at his age. He seems to be handling it, though. Uh, he's already started sorting the funeral. Mm. He's talked to the kids about it, mm. so, you know, I think he's getting there. Oh, sweetheart. Hello. What are you doing? <laughs> I can do Mrs. Kersley. No, no, it's OK. I can manage. Well, she's my regular, so I'll do her. In fact, I'll do all my regulars, all right? I don't need you two covering for me. David, come on. It is too soon for you to come back to work. Well, can you just stop treating me like an invalid? Oh, sorry. Rita, do you want a coffee? 
I've already had one, love. Right, well, I'll, I'll do you another one. And then I'll see if I can rustle up a biscuit as well. Won't be me? Thank you. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. You don't have to do that, David. We want the place clean and looking nice, don't we? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, it looks great. Uh, listen, now, you haven't got any more appointments, so why don't you get off home? We're on to late tonight, aren't we? Yes, but... All right, well, I'll stay. Look, I'm sure you've got things to do, sweetheart. The funeral. Yeah, Yo, that's pretty much done. I mean, I've ordered the flowers. I've got Billy coming round tomorrow to discuss hymns and that. Well, you have done well. I was going to offer to help. Well, like I said, it's all pretty much sorted. Oh! Hello, love. What's she doing here? I said I'd give her a cut and blow dry to say thanks. Thanks for what? Well, uh, I, actually, I just come in to cancel. I can't make it today. So. Oh. oh, baby, what are you doing? There's no point keeping all this now. Oh, David, cut! Oh, I'll just leave him. Thinks that I'm mad. Well, you are, Mount. Why am I? Oh. She's got herself in trouble with the military police. Her ex-girlfriend can't stand the sight of her. And you invite her into your home with open arms. I've told him. It's all the rage again these days. My daughter-in-law says so anyway. What, like, like a pattern? It's a floral design, mainly tulips. Nice. He just doesn't like the thought of hanging it. Well, who does, Mrs O'Hara? Well, this is it, David. How long will she be staying? Only for a few days. I don't think she's going to take the mic. You know, Maria, there was a film called The Man Who Came to Dinner. Oh, go on. What happened in that, then? He never left. Oh. I might come back in next week to get my nails done. Is your Kylie around so I can book an appointment? We'd broken up. You know how I felt. Why'd you take her side? Kate, I haven't took her side. <laughs> she's my friend. What, did you expect me to just drop her like a stone because you two have fallen out? She's playing you. She doesn't owe you anything just because she was married to your second cousin like 20 years ago. What? Well, it was third cousin, more like 10. Look, would you please take this outside? It is so unprofessional. I'm sorry, Mrs. Fenton. Maria should know better. I'm going to go and put you some tea on. Great, thanks. Oh, how cosy. What are you having? Out! Thank you for bringing all this around. Cheers. Right. Who's that? It's the uh, liaison officer who just brought round some of Kylie's stuff we're keeping on with. to remember her by. I don't want to get rid of it. Well, there's, um, there's Max to think of. He might find it upsetting if he knew it had his mother's blood on it. Right, just give me a minute to think, all right? Love, you've, uh, You've not forgotten Billy's coming around about 12, have you, just to finalise the funeral arrangements? No, I have not. Mum? Um, about that jacket, you know, that they brought round. Can you bin it for me? You're right, I don't want Max to see it, and, um... Well, I'm never gonna wear it again, I'm Max. So just be thinking about... I don't want to force your hand. No, no, you're not. Sure. I'll see you to it. David. I'm so sorry to hear about Kylie. Yeah. Leanne rung me when I was away. Went to funeral. It's on Monday. If you need any help, you know, with the kids or out. I'd... Yeah. yeah. Cheers, Ava. Uh, there's some hymns that I've chosen. Okay. Yeah, all good. 
um, flowers they're sorted. And you, you, you're going to go with the C of E service? Yeah, with uh, those extra bits thrown in as well. You said I could. Excellent. Uh, catering's fine. Um, oh, uh, you're welcome afterwards as well. It's um, you know, free booze and all that. Uh, right, poems. Oh, I, I do have some suggestions. No, if you want. I've, I've got them somewhere. They're probably next door. Just, just a minute. How do you find him? He's um, he's quite upbeat. Considering, and you? I'm worried he's bottling too much up. Mm. Well, it's striking a balance, I suppose. Trying to get through next week and being strong for the kids without losing touch with his emotions. It's not easy. And most people, they leave it till after the funeral and it just all comes tumbling out. Yeah, well, uh, I'm keeping an eye on him. Uh, milk and sugar? Uh, just milk, please. Uh, any of that quite like. All good. The, the Philip Larkin one's popular. It's not too long. Speaks to everyone. Yeah, Philip Larkin is then. At least Ken will be proud of me. Oh, that could go on top of the coffin. Oh. It's just how she was. Yeah, it's Max's favourite too. Oh, that's lovely. I'll see you then, love. Bye. Sarah, she's coming home on Friday. Really? Well, that's good news. Yeah, well, I say coming home, they have to do it in stages, you know, so she'll be here Friday afternoon, then she'll have to go back for a bit. That's something to look forward to. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'll love you and leave you. I've got some shopping to do. All right, see ya. Bye, Gail. You, um, you seem to be bearing up quite well. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll try not to let it get me down, really. Can't afford to look after two kids. Yeah. Well, that's good. Although, you might find there are times when it's not quite so easy. And if that does happen, it can be really helpful to have someone you can talk to. Or just have physical things that remind you of a wedding ring, lock of hair, one woman I knew, she um, she kept her husband's pyjamas folded under his pillow for years after, just like he used to. I suppose we're all different, really, aren't we? What's for tea? Slugs, snails and puppy dog tails. We have chips with it. If you want. Uh, come here. What was that for? I just felt like it, right? of that bug spray, have you? No, I used the last of it to kill me triffids on my begonias. Aphids. Why do you ask? Well, these flowers are crawling. Listen to this, will you? What is it? It's a relaxation app for my mum. Oh, so I've accidents, sir. Don't know, Wigan. Sounds like someone needs their adenoids out to me. Huh. Well, that's not going to relax her. It's going to make her more stressed. <laughs> Oh, hello. Hi, sweetheart. Hello. I was lucky I got there when I was here. She was going to make a run for it. You weren't. I'm sick of waiting. I've got to go back tonight. I've got you some uh, coconut madeleines for the deli. Because mm, coconut madeleines make everything all right. Yeah. Anyway, shall I put the kettle on? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> How are you doing? Mm, no, I'm not exactly doing somersaults. But... You're fine, though, aren't you? You're coping. Well, kind of, best I can, really. Yeah, you and me both. Do you not think it's a bit too soon to be doing stuff like this? It's what David wants. <sighs> yeah, but is he any fit state to be making big decisions? Look, we're just sorting everything out. He doesn't have to get rid till he's good and ready. We still have to choose something for her to wear for the funeral. Oh, this is so her. Oh, yes, that is so Kyla. Oh. 
But do you think it's an appropriate outfit to be buried in? I don't know. A daft T-shirt and a mini skirt. Not much in the way of decorum, is it? Do you reckon? I think you shouldn't even be doing this. It's too upsetting. I told you I'm OK. Listen, now, it's Kylie we're talking about. We've got to put her in something she'd like. You did say we should make a start. Yeah, of course. I mean, there's no point keeping hold of it all, is there? Yeah, well, we can take it all to the charity shop and then someone will benefit. Yeah, just um, just make sure it all goes. And uh, take it to one in town. Actually, I don't fancy seeing Liz McDonald squeezed into one of her tops. We're choosing her last outfit. What do you reckon? Um, maybe you should have a say. Well, I've already picked it. So it's all washed, it's high-end, it's, it's hung up in the wardrobe. It's very organised of you. Yeah, well, the funeral's the last thing we can do for her, isn't it? So it's got to be right. Seeing all that stuff shoved away like that. I mean, is that all her little life amounted to? Two bin bags full of stuff. Oh, Mum, don't be so maudlin. Yeah, I'm sorry. Tell the truth, I'm dreading this funeral care, okay, because that's when it hits you. I know. I wish I could be more like Blanche. She used to love a funeral. She used to drag her best clothes out in mothballs, have her hair set. It was like a day out to her. Well, personally, I found it all a bit unnatural. I mean, it was borderline ghoulish. Then she'd come back and give us a running commentary on what everybody wore, what the spread was like. Yeah. And she never liked it if people didn't cry enough, but then woe betide you if you overdid it. <laughs> they don't make them like her anymore. Hey, you're not getting shot of that, are you? Well, yeah, I mean, most of it's fake. None of it's really worth anything. Well, it's, well, it's not the point, is it? Because it's sentimental value. Sarah, it's just stuff. Doesn't mean anything without her. Yeah, but I thought maybe you could give one of her necklaces to Lily when she gets back. No, bound. just leave it, will you? <sighs> yeah, I sometimes wish Gail had just had an off switch. Brilliant. As soon as the gums start beating, I pick up the remote, off she goes. I'm also, as well, sick and tired of hearing those three little words. Love you, David. No, how are you? I mean, you must get that. Yeah. T-shirt made up saying, do not ask, I am fine. How's Max? It's been really tough. Well, he's up and down, really. I mean, one minute he seems to be coping, the next. Mm, well, it's to be expected. He's only little. Yeah. Well, at least he's got us lot looking out for him. I mean, that sounds like a good thing. Thought I'd seen you to come in. So, they've let you out the nut house then. Charming. Just do one, gentlemen. I wanted to ask about Kylie's funeral. You kidding me? She was my best mate. You killed her? If you'd have just told them to get lost or you'd have called the police. I couldn't! I was scared! Whoa, whoa, whoa. If this is going to get nasty, you need to take it outside. You were scared? David. How do you think my wife felt when she's lying on the ground, bleeding to death? Look, I know you're upset and nobody would blame you, but could you just... If it wasn't for you, all right, my wife would still be alive and my children would still have a mother. I'm really sorry, David. I did the right thing in the end, didn't I? Because of me... Clayton got banged off. Yo, it's too late. If I see you anywhere near that funeral, I promise you I'll put you in the ground myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey! That was about... Who cares? You know all this stuff with Gemma? You can't go around banning people from Kylie's funeral. Says who? Kylie would want her there. No, she wouldn't. Even Kylie realised that all that lot were best avoided. Yeah, I know, but... Look, I'm organising Kylie's funeral, yeah? So I'm giving her a proper send-off, which means no drug dealers or skanks there, and that's final. We need to start thinking about getting you back to hospital soon. Yeah, there's plenty of time for that. I do think we do need to sit down, though, and just have a talk before I go. I'm going to start bringing up all this Gemma stuff again, are you? Well, not just that. I, I just think we need to maybe... Talk about how we're feeling. What is it with you lot and talking like it's some sort of magic cure for everything? Give it a rest, both of you. All right, mate. What have you been up to? Nothing. 
Yeah? Well, I've got a job for you, actually. It's quite important, really. Um, do you remember we were talking about putting together a music playlist of your mum's favourite songs? Yeah. Yeah, well, I need you to pick one for the funeral. That's easy. Pussycat dolls. Oh, I don't think that's appropriate, Lou. Why not? It was a favourite. Yeah, but it's just not as simple as that. Says who? Oh, you're surely not suggesting we have a song like that at a funeral. And why not? I mean, a funeral's meant to go a certain way. Is there a rule book? Gail's guide? Be silly, David. Kylie didn't exactly spend her time thinking about what was appropriate, did she? No, I don't suppose she did. No. So, Max, is there anything else you think your mum would like? Just stuff that will make people think of her. Hey, I see. Spot on. What about food? What about it? Can we have burgers and chips from the kebab shop? <laughs> Why not? And loads of sweets. Well, I suppose if your dad said yes, then who am I to argue? Right, burgers and chips it is. I mean, it's your day, Max, for remembering your mum, so if that's what you want, that's what we'll have. Have you, um... Have you thought about her eulogy? Not yet, no. What's a eulogy? It's when someone stands up and says nice things about the person that died. Can I do it? I'm not sure that's a good idea, Max. Why not? Well, you'd be nervous, wouldn't you? Standing up in front of all those people. Yeah, especially on such an important day. I don't care. I want to do one. Honestly, Max, I, I don't think it's the job for you. When Callum died, my mum said funerals are your last chance to say goodbye to people. That's true. So why can't I do one of those eulogy things? Right, come on, mate. We'll, we'll go upstairs. We'll talk about it. hospital I'm not going I'm gonna stay here David needs me you're not ready to come home full-time Sarah I've made my decision my family said that they support me absolutely yeah I'll be I'll be in tomorrow well no no because I won't Changed my mind. Right. Okay, bye. What did they say? Oh, well, they're not happy about it, but I said I'll go and get some more medication tomorrow. Are you sure you want to risk undoing all your good work? I'm not undoing anything. I think you should stay there until you're 100% sure you're okay. But then I'm going to be there worried about David, so how is that going to help? You've been getting so much better, though. Exactly, which is why I'm fine to come home now. Don't do this, Mum. Honestly, it's for the best. How can it be? They want you to go back. Yeah, you should listen to your daughter. She's talking sense. Yeah, I know that you're worried about me, but I, you need to trust me on this. The people at the hospital are trained professionals. You should take their advice. This family needs to stick together. But David, Kylie, they, they've always been there for me and it's my turn. Look. I'm not going anywhere, and I don't want another word said about it. Just got off the phone with Becky. She can't make it on Monday. Why? She's got a middle ear infection. They won't let her fly? No. Oh, David, I'm so sorry. Well, it's Becky I feel sorry for. I mean, she sounded gutted on the phone, but what can she do? Your sister's got some news. Yeah, I'm not going back to the hospital. How oh, come? She says she wants to be here. All right, well, as long as you're sure. Last thing I need is you flipping out on me again. David, your sister's just made a huge sacrifice for you. I mean, the least you can do is show a bit of gratitude. <sighs> yeah, I just feel like I really owe it to Kylie and you. Bethany, I just want you to get better. What's Max doing? He's uh, writing his eulogy. So I just said I'd, I'd leave him to it, you know. I'm, I'm going to nip out, actually, and get some fresh air. Do you want me to come with you? No, you're all right. I just need some time on my own. Cheers. Uh, before you go, and promise not to bite me head off, but all this business about banning Gemma from the funeral... Oh, Mo, I don't want to talk about I, it. I know you want everything to be perfect, but you can't just whitewash the past. I'm not trying to whitewash anything. And you did say that the funeral was to be 
all the things that Kylie wanted. And Gemma was part of Kylie's past, whether you like it or not. Well, she's the reason Kylie's dead. I mean, those lowlifes wouldn't have been hanging around the kebab shop, would they, if it wasn't for her? <sighs> yeah, but would Kylie be blaming Gemma for it, though? Can't you just tell her that she can come if she keeps the rest of them away? Thank you. Right. Mm -hmm. Just feels wrong, doesn't it? A kebab without ten pints first. Yeah, but you're doing it anyway. Yeah, well, I like to keep an open mind about these things. That and I can't afford the ten pints, so this'll have to do. <laughs> See you later, Dave. See ya. If you want a kebab, I'll get you one, but I don't want any asshole. I'm not here for asshole or a kebab. What then? A word. I heard you before. I'm not welcome at the funeral. Message received. You can come if you want. How come? Because you were Kylie's mate. Whether I like it or not. Nice one. Cheers. Just want you to do me a favour, though. Depends what it is. You have to promise to keep Macca and his little gang well away. How am I going to do that? Use your charm. I've just grassed up Clayton to the coppers. I'm hardly Mrs. Popular on the estate. Look, I, I don't care how you do it. Just do it. Right? See you Monday. I should have said something. You were right. Before it all got out of hand. Yeah, you should. I keep thinking about it. About her. Well, don't. I'm really sorry. David, I mean that. You sure you don't want a kebab? On the house? No. You just promised to keep that lot well away from the funeral on Monday, right? I'll try my best. Hey, how did it go? Yeah, she said she'll come on Monday. Well, that's something, I suppose. I can't believe I'm asking her to come anyway. You did the right thing. Have I? Yeah, of course you have. Well, I've done the right thing when those murderers are six feet under. David, don't talk like that. It's the truth. And do you know what? I'll laugh. As soon as they lower those coffins into the ground, I'll be somewhere else and I'll be savouring every minute. Is that somewhere else going to be prison? Are you still going to be laughing then? You promised Kylie that you would look after Max and Lily. Yeah, and I also promised her that I'd get revenge. You were them two things. They don't go together. Can you not see that? Look, I I'm not talking about this, Sarah. David, look, you need to focus on the kids. But that's what Kylie would have really wanted. Forget about revenge. And what if I can't? What if I can't let them carry on with their lives? Because my wife's dead and Max and Lily haven't got a mother anymore. I know that it, it must be hard, David. How? How do you know how hard it is, Sarah? To lie awake every night for hours and when you finally do get some sleep, You wake up and for a few seconds you can't understand why you feel so sick in your stomach because for those few seconds, you forget she's gone. She's gone, she, she's gone forever. And it's all their fault. I don't know, I'm sorry, I just, I just um... They have to pay, Sarah. Just really, just look after Max and Lily, that is all you can do. <laughs> yeah, I know, oh, come here, yeah. come here. You gotta go with it, Gran. You don't want to be the only one at the funeral who doesn't do what Kylie wanted. It isn't what Kylie wanted. How could Kylie possibly know what she wanted? Nobody expects me having a funeral at her young age. What's the matter? Oh, do you know, I'm just not sure about this, Gail. Letting Max make so many decisions. I mean, bright colours, yes, okay. But burgers and chips for food, pop songs in the church. I mean, I wouldn't let a kid name a pet, let alone plan my funeral. Now, I managed to persuade him to use a slightly different track for the, um, for the coffin bit. Oh, good. So no pussy doll cats, then? No. Not pussy cat dolls. No, it didn't feel right somehow, no. This one's, uh, by Beyonce. Something about, uh, walking. Oh, my Boots. Oh, bootylicious. What? Right, grab a biscuit on your way through, then. Not hungry. Well, get me one, then. Hello, sweetheart. You OK, David? Uh, is there something I can do, love? No, no, we're all right. He just wants to show me a speech. 
I will. Let me help out with some words. I'll just keep an ear out for Harry or Lily waking up. I didn't know he had it in him. This strength. The kids need him. What choice has he got? Drop him at the funeral directors now. Don't rush me. Not allowed to rush you, am I? And to tell him Sean about us. I will. Just after the funeral, like we agreed. Kylie comes first today. Oh, I'll um, I'll come back. Uh, okay, it's all right. I'm, I'm going. Um, well, tell you it'll take us another hour for flowers. Hmm. Well, I won't be going, so you've got nothing to worry about. You, uh, you're not going, Sean? A friend in a coffin, ex on the pulpit, meltdown city. I think it'd be frowned upon if I sent a little something from here, you know? Maybe like a, I don't know, a sneaky lily or something. I know it's supposed to be like family only, flowers wise. Ah, you can hide one in mine if you want. <laughs> hey, you. Hey. Mm. Look at you. Back from the land of the. Sorry, I wish I'd never started that sentence. Well, sorry, say it, living. Oh, same. <laughs> Hey, it's good to see you back. Yeah, I'm, uh, Popped up on pills, but here I am. <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing while everyone's at the funeral? I'm going. <clears throat> anyway, um, here's the money for that sneaky lily. I've got to get to the Rovers, organise the wake. See you later. You know, everyone's going to be dead emotional, dead cut up about it. Yeah, you know, I just can't get my head around. I'm not going to see you again. Yeah, exactly. So you can't go. I mean, straight from the hospital to a funeral, come on. I've been home a few days. Sarah, you proper lost it. Yes, I do know, thank you. God, right, money for the flowers, I'll see you in charge. Hey, hey, come on. Sarah, wait, that's that's not what I meant. Todd, I'll chase a call or text you. Uh, no, no, Pete, I'm talking to you. Look, he phoned me bladdered last night. I've left messages, just need to know he's all right. You couldn't get him up when he was hung over here. Never mind Thailand. Todd, he was in a state, crying, just torturing himself over what his dad did. What happened to Tony isn't anything to do with Jason, is it? Well, you try telling him that. I just want to make sure that he got back to the place he was staying. Okay, fine, Mum. Can you watch the shot for five minutes? Todd, no! For five. No, oh, Pat. No, now. I'm going to kill him when he does bother to call me. Why do you say sympathy, anyway? What does it actually mean? It means you're thinking of them. It don't know, does it? Or you just get them a card saying thinking of you. Well, thinking of them sympathetically. It sounds like pathetically. I'm not sure about it. I don't get it. Well, then take the plain one with a nice picture. Should we talk, Kylie? When we was at school? Not that we was much. But anything that came at you, she just like hold it down for you. Should have done the same for David and them kids forever. I feel proper bad for him. Oh, Gemma love. That's sympathy. I'll not take your money. Go on, have the card. Can I have them both? She's still not online, Emily. Well, use the proper computer. If you connect your camera to that thing, you'll have Emily's CC. The proper computer won't boot up. Oh, won't boot up. Sarah, it's not me. I'm really sorry. I, you know, I didn't mean to upset you. Well, um, apology accepted. No, no, it's not an apology. Listen, I, I don't think you should go. You've been really sick. You know that. And I've had treatment. Sarah, you've been on two minutes. Most people are gearing up for a stroll on Blackpool prom, not a trip to a graveyard. You're trying to freak me out. I didn't choose the timing of it, did I? I was there, remember. I saw what you were like. Oh, I hope you're not. You know, I care about you. I mean, how's it going to make you feel watching Kylie being lowered into the ground? It's enough to make anyone crack up. I need to be there for David. What if you do crack up, eh? Say something you might regret. I mean, do you want to end up back in hospital? Or... I was sent down for life. Sent down for life? There. There's going to be cops there. Yeah, why would I be sent down for life? You just think about it, yeah? Time waster to yours. Todd, um, can you just... Sarah, I didn't know you were home, though. How are you? Are you OK? Yeah, yeah, I'm OK. I'm just, um, come to get some sweets for Lily for today. Todd! 
I've got to get there. Get a flight. I've got to go to him. They couldn't tell me anything. What's happened? A fall, they said. Jason's had a nasty fall and they've airlifted him to the mainland. Airlifted? But how bad is he? Mum! Todd? Todd? What was that? Sarah, just said? leave it. Jason's had an accident. You want a drink for a day? Uh, not alcohol. I'll save that for her after. I want to have my head on. Mm, I doubt any of us will be able to keep our heads today. There's no shame in it. I should go and change. Oh, no, wait, I can grab you a brightly coloured anki, one of Steve's. I, I, I wasn't aware. Honestly, don't worry. Somebody should have told you that Max wanted bright colours. Perhaps if I change my jacket for the anorak. OK, yeah, what colour's that? Beige. Get, honestly, darling, a, a hanky will be fine. It's... Oh, uh, uh, allow me. I, I have a dexterity when it comes to coin-operated machines. Uh, B27, Pussycat Dolls. It's one of Kylie's favourites. Well, it, it, it was. B27? Oh. Oh, you might be good with coins, right? But you're terrible with buttons. So I'm stood there and everyone's screaming, do something great. My arms weigh a ton, and I'm trying to lift this fire extinguisher up, and suddenly it turns into a can of red acrylic paint. Is this to get you out of doing them windows? I woke up in a sweat. All right, fine, do it tomorrow. But the rule is, don't read too much into your dreams. Because if I did, I'd be wondering why I couldn't fly or why Sally's not dumped me over that Hillary Clinton thing. Hillary Clinton? Yeah, what you got to do is you got to figure out what's worrying you, sort that, and then you won't be having weird dreams. What if they turn up today, then from the dog and gone? Well, they won't. Well, the thing is, son, like, you're a good lad, right? And everything you've done, you've done for the right reasons. Mum, quickest flight to book tour. I mean, even if you flew out tonight, by the time you got your two connections... Well, you, um, you need a visa or anything? Visa? Yeah, didn't Jason say something about a... Visa? I could be wrong. Here, let me have a look. You get your mum a drink. He sounded so vulnerable last night. He kept going quiet, but I could hear that he was crying. I wish that his dad had never come back into his life. I should have said something different. Mum, it's not your fault. If only I persuaded him to get in the cab and go back to the hostel. Don't you blame yourself, Eileen. Blame his murdering father. And you're looking for visas? I am, I'm just saying. It's Tony's actions that have sent him off the rails, not your mum's phone calls. This has been coming ever since he found out what his dad did. I'll get you another bottle. Oh, I'm all right, lovey. There you go. You don't need a visa if it's less than 30 days. Todd, I said I'm fine. Hello, Vera. On offer at the pound shop. Hello, Vera. Where's David? Uh, just leave David be today, thank you. I've got him a card and I wanted to tell him that I'd spoke to Macca and that from the drug and gone. They better not be coming. No, that's what I'm saying. I've told him that if they show up... We don't want to hear threats, thank you. If any of them turn up, I'll hold you responsible. How's Jason? No idea. Is there anything that I can do? You're going to start doing what I ask all of a sudden. What did you mean earlier? You know, in the cabin and you were going on about me going to prison for life. You know, I know you're fragile, Sarah. But seriously, not in the mood. For what? You know, I've done so much for you. The least you could do is quit with the game playing. Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. My brother's in hospital. Because it's me who's letting him think his dad's a murderer. Now you want to start wandering into funerals that you're not strong enough to go to, risk putting me away. I mean, I've got to live with the lies I told for you. For me? Yeah, for you. You think that I kill Callum, don't you? 
So I've had enough of this. No, Tom, said enough. Tom, Tom. Oh. I didn't. Have you thought this all that time? Just stop it. Just but stop it. I didn't. I... On Bethany's life, on my daughter's life, I did not kill Callum. Okay. Who did? You know she's pleased. You know, like psychics see dead people, I see cops. You're not going in? These are the cops. The robbers, Macca and Dog and Gunmore. Do you think they might come? I made them swear they'll swerve it, but no one then. You go in. I'll stay out here and keep watch. Ah, Craig, you're a good one. Well, have you at least found out the name of the hospital? Well, can you? Because you're supposed to be his mate. Eileen, this panic's not going to help anyone. Not you, not Jason. Yeah, well, I'm scared, Pat. I don't know. What if he's alone, hurt and frightened, and the last conversation I have with him is about his stupid, murdering, waste of space father? Where are you off now? Church. It's not the most conventional first song I've ever heard in here. Kylie was many things, but conventional wasn't one of them. She was, however, a caring mother, a loving wife, a good friend, a dedicated colleague, a woman who lived her life to the full. A life that we come here today to celebrate, as well as mourn. And before we get back to some of Kylie's favourite songs, as chosen by Max, I'd like us to sing a hymn. Lord of all hopefulness, please rise. Sure. Is this a bit much? It is, it's too much. Liz said she wanted bright, but tasteful. I take it's hot hasn't called you then. Mind you, in her world, that probably means all the bar staff in fuchsia bath. Jason's had an accident. An accident? What sort of accident? We're still trying to find out, but Eileen wanted you to know. Now, I'm going to get back to her, because she is up the wall. Oh, and just when she needs him, Todd decides he'd rather be at a funeral. I'll go and fetch him. Or at least hurry him back. I mean, it's not what you can do for Kylie now, is there? He's probably not thinking straight. Thanks. Okay. Do you need a hand? Cheers. Hey, oh, they've not spared the flowers here, have they? I guess some people think the more there are, the more it shows the care. <sighs> Kylie Clark, this one goes there. What have they put in these? Oh, don't use them. Use your sleeve. Oh, are they Kylie's? Just arrived. 
you think there's meant to go in the S? No wonder she's scuttling off. The plants will be fuming. You've been out here all this time. Making sure Maca didn't show up. Oh, going in. You feel bad if you've missed it all. I can't leave you. <laughs> Do you think I can't handle Maka? I'm a tinker, same as you. Nobody messes us about, do they? Go on. If that happens, I'll come and get you. Ugh. Our angel. From all your friends at the Dog and Gun. My mum. Mine was better. The best. When teachers said that we couldn't have nice food. She brought chips to school for me. And when I was scared, that Callum, my real dad, was going to come for me, she'd always tell me I'd be okay. That she and David would do anything for me and not to be scared. And she did. She always did. Always looked after me. Poems to me when I had bad dreams. I said you're never too old for daft poems. They make you feel better if you're scared. I hope you're not scared, Mum. I know it's hard, love. We try to look at things this way. Whatever's going on out there is what it is. It makes no difference whether you're sat here, fearing the worst, hoping for the best. Got a bad feeling, Pat. But you could be wrong. Try to stop giving yourself a hard time, love. Just wish Todd had booked the flights. I don't want to be wrong. Sean's going to hurry him up. Sean has? Yeah. But Todd's probably gone to see Billy. Yes. Well, Sean doesn't know. Know what? The Todd and Billy are seeing each other. If Sean figures this out, this is all we need on top of everything else. Oh. Do you know, I was worried it'd feel... Oh, I don't know, wrong, I suppose, but... It felt very Kyla. Oh, look at that. Oh, my angel. I don't recall seeing that in the hearse. David? Um, I was just thinking, you know, if you don't want the kids to see this bit, then I can take them home, if you like. Yeah, it's a good idea, David. It's a lot for them to deal with. Uh, yeah, yeah, OK, thanks. I can help. Oh, no, you're fine. I can manage things, my dear. Lily, should we go and find Leo? Uh, Max. Um, listen, you did good in there, all right? I made your mum proud. So, um, I'll see you later. Okay? Love you. Dog and gun. Bit soft killing flowers. Thought killing drug dealers was more your style. 
You what? My brother's in hospital because of you. So run along and do what you've got to do for Kylie. Because as soon as that's over, I'm coming for you. Todd, what happened? Where are you going? Ask your brother. Todd! Sarah, what's going on? Where's David? Nothing. It's, um, it's fine. What, are you coming to the wait? People are asking. Yeah, can you just tell them we just need a bit of time on our own? What happened? Todd didn't listen. What are you going to do? Make him listen. Well, why don't I talk to him? I think we're done with a softly, softly approach. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're right. Yeah. Are we going to go to the wake? You can, mate. I, I've just got to do something. But I want to stay with you. Kids need something to eat. Well, can you get my takeaway or something? Uncle Nick will get you a takeaway. Get what you want. Will you eat it with me? Yes, he will. Okay, so listen, you go, get it, and then when you get back, then Lily's going to be here with your daddy, OK? Yeah? Cool. I know what I want. Well, that was sly. Well, I don't want you doing anything stupid. He's going to the police? Yeah, they wouldn't just let me talk to him. I know Todd much better than you do. I thought you were Pat. I had a bit of an argument. Yeah, what about? Sean knows about you and Billy. You are? How? I am not getting involved. I've had it up to here today. Any, uh, any news on our Jace? Tried ringing the hospital. I can't seem to get through to anyone who speaks English. I don't even know if I'm ringing the right hospital. At least we know he's in one, eh? I just feel so flaming powerless. I'd give anything to have him home. I don't think he's ever going to come out. Maybe just needs a reason to. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't go smoothly. I mean, just once I would like a family occasion that didn't end in a fight or a row or two. Oh, I gave up hoping for that long ago. Well, thank you, lucky stars, you're not highly. Do that every day. What was happened? Jason's had an accident in Thailand. What? Yeah. Island told Lizzie fell when he was drunk. Well, that happens to me every week. He was airlifted to hospital. Is he OK? I don't know. They're trying to find out. Well, I thought I'd never say this, but poor Eileen. Cheer up, will ya? Cheer up? That's what a day's man would have liked. Singing, laughing, maybe even fighting. Yeah, well, he didn't bank on Jason having an accident. From too many vodkas? He'd have done the same if he was here. Good point well made. We should be doing karaoke and dancing on tables. You're right. Come and help me choose some music. Come. Oh, I'm so sorry I couldn't make the service. Well, you saved yourself for trial in more ways than one. It's all happening, Ken. Kel surprise. May I join you? Uh, uh... That's more like it. <sighs> Don't worry, I'm just off. Um, it's early. I'm going to check on Eileen. I'll give her my regards. Actually, I'm not going to sit down. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Grandad. <laughs> <laughs> trying to give me a heart attack. You're lucky it's me, not David. A heart attack with the easy option. All right, and if he'd killed me, what are you going to do? Help him bury the body? Please, don't go to... No, my mind's made up. Please! Get out of the van! Right, fine. Come with me. Hi. How was the service? You played Christina Aguilera. Sir here has a very special food request. Fancy sausage. Fancy sausage? Yeah, you know the sausage and mash we used to do with the parsnip chips and uh, the oregano. Mum's favourite. Well, I'm sure we can sort something. Can we get it takeaway? Yeah, of course. Yeah, just one minute, Mum. Yeah. You sure? Look <sighs> under the cosh. 
don't even ask. It's Andy's day off, the agency staff has let us down, it's... Oh. What agency is Robert using? Oh, I've no idea. He doesn't tell us anything. Right, I'll go and place your order, sir. Fancy sausage. Mum said we're only allowed to eat here on special occasions. Yeah, well, um, I'm sure this counts as one of those. Seriously, how many times? We only do what's on the menu and we don't do takeaways. Well, I'm sure it won't take you very long. Well, that's not the point, Steph. Who's it for? It's for Max. It was Carly's favourite. Are you coming in, or are you minding the van? At least listen to what I've got to say. Nothing you say is going to change my mind. Kylie... She did it for me. She was saving my life. You've been terrorising us for months. You have no idea what he was putting our family through. It had to stop. So, that night, I texted him, Kylie's phone, asking him to come to ours, and just like promising him money. I just, I wanted him to talk about the threats, you say something incriminating. <laughs> he realised that I was recording him on my phone and he went berserk. And he grabbed me. And he threw me on the sofa. <laughs> so I tried to make a run for the back door, but then he grabbed me by my hair and he threw me down on the floor and he pinned me down. <laughs> and his entire body weight was on top of me. I couldn't breathe. I just... And I knew, I knew he was going to rape me and kill me. I knew it. I knew that that was it. And then he just slumped. And I, I didn't, I didn't know what had happened. And I'll, I'll look up and... Kylie's just stood there. I've never told anybody this before. <sighs> I just, um... I'm sorry you had to go through that, Sarah. Kylie saved my life. She doesn't deserve to be punished for it. Neither does my family. Well, as can be expected, Karen. Look, why don't I know cook you lunch this week? Oh, be... oh, oh, oh. 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 All right, girl, come on, I think you've had enough. I bet you're loving this. I think you should go home, well, lady. Who's coming back to number eight for a night? I will. No, nobody's coming back to number eight. Bethany, would you take your grandma home, please, and make her a nice strong cup of tea? Go on. Come on. <laughs> Look, I'll, uh, I'll wait for a cab with you. Oh, oh, Ken, thanks. Honestly, there's no need. Well, I'm going your way. Why don't we share one? Yeah, yeah, OK, that makes sense. Thanks. You're never going to eat all that. I am. Why don't you give David a bit? He's not eating. You can have some if you want. You're all right, babe. Mm -hmm. So 
matter? Well, apart from burying my wife. Yeah, apart from that. You're angry. I can tell. Can I have some more juice, please? Look, why don't you just go on? I can solve these. It's all right, I'll stay. I'm perfectly capable of looking after my kids. See you later, Max. You tell the police what happened and I'll go down too. No, no. You didn't kill him. You're the victim in all this. But I moved the body and I, I coughed it up. No, 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 no. David, Kylie, they manipulated no, you. No, they didn't. She saved my life and David. But I wouldn't be sat here if it wasn't for them. My brother's lying half dead somewhere in some Thai hospital because he thinks his dad's a murderer. I don't see why I should protect a dead woman's memory or a lying husband. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm sorry about Jason. I am. But he's, he's a grown man. And Max and Lily, the, the kids? What, have they not lost enough? What, you're going to take both the parents away from them? Where is the justice in that? Look, I am asking you to please... Just protect them kids the way you've always protected me. Look. No, we, we just, we bury this with Kylie. We just, we don't talk about it again to anyone. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I love you, Todd, you know. You're my best friend. Likewise. You deserve a man like Billy. Don't miss it all. I'll miss Kylie. Yeah, me too. You know, I just worry how David's going to manage without her. She really turned him round, Freddie. So much I thought nobody could do. She was a remarkable woman. As are you. Sorry, thank you. David? David? Where is everyone? We're in bed. So what happened? He's not going to the police. So now I think this has to stop. Well, if you trust Todd, it will. No, I mean with you. I think you're gonna have to get yourself together. I am together. Well, David, you are all the kids have got. You can't go round. Making threats and attacking people. I'm not in the mood for a lecture. Where are you going? For a walk. Keep it together, Kylie. I don't know how long. 